that science brings to view is that action and reaction is equal and opposite. And over time, our health speakers have demonstrated to us that this law is not just true in science, it's actually true in our living, our lifestyle, and our day-to-day -day activities, to the sense that if you ingest garbage, it will produce an equal and opposite reaction in the manner in which your body will deal with it. So we've had situations where we are dealing with lifestyle diseases, we are dealing with diseases that we can control by, by, that we can control or reverse by adopting a healthier lifestyle. So specifically yesterday, Teacher Tini took us through certain tips that can help us to deal with these lifestyle diseases that have come to our age, especially cancer. One, we need to adopt a plant-based diet. But one of the things that really stood out for me is that it is not enough to choose the right kind of food. Once you have chosen or identified the right kind of food, you are supposed to take that food in right quantities. And so it cannot be hard of you to eat a whole watermelon on your own, alleging that you're keeping healthy. Certainly, your body might actually, um, your body might do something that you might not like. In the same breath, as you have chosen the right quantity of food, now eat it at the right time interval. So whereas one may consume a whole watermelon in one sitting, another can simply eat a slice after every one hour and finish the whole watermelon in four hours. That might be detrimental to your system. And when that occurs, certain diseases might begin creeping in. And when such diseases creep in, they might affect your overall well-being in the family. And you start seeking advice from people, asking, what am I going to do about my marriage? What shall I do about my family? But Pastor David informed us yesterday, at the type of person or the nature of people whom you share your problems with will inform the nature of solution that you get. So if you go to scoffers, they will scoff at your marriage. And so it is important that we seek God and seek God's counsel. It is sad that some people, in an attempt to reverse disease, cure disease, or solve family situation, have resorted to cults. And as a result, they have become slaves to these cult masters. Family land has been sold, children withdrawn from school, health, deteriorated because of cultists. But yesterday, Pastor Mark Finney reminded us this one thing, to the law and to the testimony. If they do not speak according to such, there is no light in them. But do you realize that Isaiah 8, 19, the verse just before verse 20 says, when they say to you, seek the mediums, seek the wizards, seek they that mutter and whisper, should not a people seek their God? Why would you seek the dead on issues of the living, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not about such, there is no light in them. Therefore, today, we are going to find answers to these questions, that I was asleep, then my aunt who died several years ago showed up and told me this is the man I should marry. <laughs> Does that even happen? Or accounts where we hear that a certain dead person showed up and revealed where their body is and when you went there you actually found that body now that will need to be explained by the speaker today to tell us what is our relationship with the dead what happens when a person dies how shall we reunite with our loved ones who have gone ahead of us even as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our savior jesus christ that knowledge will help us know that when we get autoimmune diseases such as arthritis, it might not be useful to consult a cultist, a wizard, or a witch, but to seek the face of the Lord. Dr. Chidi will be coming right up to teach us on autoimmune diseases. May the Lord bless us and keep us as we continually get involved. Keep watching, keep listening, share with your friends that together we may be blessed at Jesus' feet. Thank you.
Hello and good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching us from. Karibu sana. We have the privilege of uh, bringing to you our song service for this evening and I'm privileged to be joined by three of my friends. I think they can say their names. Derek Amaya. Sarah Marita. Betty Corinne. Yes, and I'm Prince. Thank you so much for joining us this evening or afternoon or morning, <laughs> wherever you are. And we're going to be doing two songs as part of this session. Song number one will be 430 from our SDA hymnal. Oh, there'll be joy when the work is done. And we'll follow that up with 520 that says, He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock. Thank you, and we encourage you to sing with us. Savior is Jesus, my Lord. Song number 520.
God bless you. Amen. That was a Amen. wonderful, wonderful session.